Hello everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back and I have a haul. Um, I'm going to throw a couple things in that aren't from the Dollar Tree because I forgot them the other day. Actually, they were just sitting here and I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> okay, I hope you all are having a good day. It's going to rain here and it's humid again. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, I get Lila this evening. So that's good. Um, I'm hoping my microphone is going to do what it's supposed to do. I haven't liked the sound quality in several of my videos, but I don't know how to really fix it. I'm not too techy. So, <clears throat> um, just a couple of things. Um, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. And once you do, make sure you hit the bell and that'll tell you whenever I upload a video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on some things. I went to like, I don't know, antique place and I find old books and I kind of use them for decor like that little gnome right there is sitting on top of a bunch of old books. Um, but then also I find them fascinating because just the way they're written and the way they smell, it's all good. This book was only a dollar and it is um, regards to Broadway by, and I can't even read that. Hold on. By Donald Henderson Clark. So, and this is a very old book. I'm trying to see when it was copyrighted. Um, it was copyrighted in... Published in 1947, copyrighted in 1935 by the Vanguard Press Incorporated. So I just love things like this. And what makes them even better for me is whenever um, there's writing on the inside, like if people signed it saying they read it or whatever. So there is writing on the inside. I do that with my books. If I read them, I'll initial them and put the date that I read them. And sometimes I'll rate them. But, yeah, see? There's several. Several in here. So I just thought this was a pretty cool find. Um, and it does have that old book smell, which I love. It, it reminds me, when I was little, we used to go to the library um, with my grandma and she always checked out little like paperback books but they were older books and I think she read a lot of romance novels but it got me interested in reading and I wish my kids were more interested in reading but they're not um, I wish I could say they've read tons of books in their life but they don't um, but they all have busy lives right now anyways I thought this was a really good find for me I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine. Ah! <laughs> I'm already making a mess. Okay. Set this over here. I really hope this microphone is working. Then, I found this. And I already have one inside my shed that says, Welcome to my shed. Um, but this, it, it was $10, so I think it was the same price as the other one. But it says she shed and I wanted to put this on the outside right beside the door before you walk into the shed but I was like mm, how am I just gonna put it up there I don't know and then I went to a different um, store set that down there, and I found this frame and I was like will you ask the guy if you can go out and get that sign and see if this frame will work for that and it does it does this frame was $18 which is a little expensive but look come on you guys is that not perfect so I want to hang this on the outside of my shed but then I was thinking well I don't want this to get damaged because it's wood I know it's painted but it'll eventually get weathered 
And so I asked my husband, I said, you know that clear coat spray that you got from the Dollar Tree that I got and then you went and got more? I was like, I wonder if we could do that with this. And he says, we definitely can. So that's what we're going to do with my sign here. It's a little kind of DIY thing going on. But yeah. I think my daughter's going to come over here in a little bit. And we're going to get some lunch. I don't know. I was wanting to go to the pool maybe sometime this week, but it looks like it's going to rain like every single stinking day. Okay, another item here is I, I have this obsession with old um, mason jars and ball jars and things like that. Um, this is just an old one. It's got the galvanized lid on it, and it's got the ridges on it, which I wanted this time. It's also got the round ridges on the bottom. Um, this was 1995, a little steep, but not too bad for the size of it. I mean, around this area, you can't really find anything that's close to the size for that price. So then, more tiny little items, and then I'll get going on the Dollar Tree. I had one of these years ago. And I want to say we probably got it in pretty much the same spot. It was a little different, but this was $5.98 and it's a little keychain. And it has like a little picture of my doggy on there. That's my buddy. Kind of spins around. Mine broke. My husband still has his from the last time because he didn't use it on his keychain. Mine, I use always used it on my keychain. So I did get me another one. So we think about him. A lot especially lately and then I had this idea and I was like I know we don't take our camper every time we go places but wouldn't it be cool if we got them little magnets from all the states and put it on the refrigerator in the camper just to say hey we travel um, so I picked up little refrigerator magnets and these are just little little magnets of places that we've went as husband and wife um, when he was younger he went to different states when I was younger we lived in different states so this is just in our travels as a husband and wife and we haven't really been able to travel until the kids were actually grown and out of the house if that makes any sense whatsoever we wish we could have afforded travel back then but we couldn't um, so of course Illinois which is the state we live in not on purpose <laughs> maybe in a couple of years we'll have a good governor um, there's buddy again and Missouri so um, my husband hasn't been up in the arch I've actually been up in the arch before um, and let's see what else did we do there? Not sure. We've been Branson a couple of times. Okay, so there's that. Now, these two states have my heart. These two states have my heart. It would be a toss-up on which one I would want to move to. So far. I mean, we're gonna go other places, I'm sure, but this state in particular, I used to live there when I was a little girl. I loved it. I loved how friendly people were. I loved the state, how it works, um, just the atmosphere, and it's beautiful. Like, I would want to just stick me a little hut right in the middle of a, of a bunch of trees on a hill, you know? So, Tennessee, for sure. Then, of course, Florida. We usually um, go to Panama City Beach. We went to Destin one time. We didn't stay there. We just kind of drove through and was like tourists and things like that. Um, but yeah, Panama, Panama City Beach has our heart because I love the white sand and the water. So yeah, those were just a couple of things that we got. Okay, moving on to the Dollar Tree now. I picked up some buns that was on sale half price so probably need to get them used up um, 50 cents for hot dog buns 
and 50 cents for hamburger buns. So I thought that was really good. I got two of the life waters and I've already drank one. So I got one left. So I, I pick these up every once in a while when they're, th when they're there. I mean, you never know from day to day what's gonna be in the Dollar Tree. That's the fun part. I got a bunch of containers and I'm gonna go ahead and show these. I got these size of containers. I hauled a big white one recently from Michaels. It was huge. Um, but I love these containers to throw toys in, to straighten up, to carry them around. If you're going to take a bunch of stuff from one room to another, throw it in there, and then carry it. So I got two pinks, two grays, and a blue. And then I got one of those red tub things. Not really sure. I'm going to have to start working on my Father's Day stuff because it's coming up. Um, when is Father's Day? Why does it not say that on the calendar? Oh, on the 20th. Okay. Yeah. Pretty sure I work that day. Okay. Moving right along. Um, going to this one up and this one over. This has a lot of Father's Day stuff in it. Okay. I picked up several deodorants that I've seen. Um, I'm just going to gift closet. My husband will use them. I'll stick them in Father's Day baskets or whatever. Um, I picked this one up and it's Dial um, Professional Antiperspirant and Deodorant. So I picked that up. Then I picked up, I won't show you all of them, but I'll show you the different ones. I got some Speed Stick Power of Nature Avalanche. That. Speed Stick Irish Spring Original. And Speed Stick Ocean Surf. So pick several of those up. Two Power of Nature. Speed Stick Regular Light. I don't really know what the difference of this is. And yeah, I got a couple Ocean Surfs. A couple Regular Life. Okay. So anyways, I got several of those to kind of stock up my husband's shelf and... Um, for Father's Day baskets and stuff. Then I picked up another one of these Axe Fresh and Clean. I think I have one or two in my gift closet. I need to go hunting. Um, but I thought these would be good to stick in a Father's Day basket as well. And they smell really good. I picked up a couple of these Armor All car washes and also for Father's Day. Never know, kind of mix everything up. I did pick up some more um, of this black tape. My husband uses a lot of this stuff to tape up his splits on the end of his fingers and things like that. So I needed to restock the first aid kit. Then I found these and I picked up several of them to put in the Father's Day thing and then also maybe in the gift closet. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so I need four for Father's Day and one for the gift closet, I guess. It's the Barbasol Ear and Nose Trimmer with stainless steel blades, and it's battery-powered, and it has the little cap that goes over the top of it. I was hunting everywhere for these. These were a wish list item as soon as I seen them. Um, these will come in handy, and I'm pretty sure all of the boys will use them. So, yeah, I got that all for Father's Day, probably. Got another pack of the square flag um, plates. There's 12 in here, just to kind of put back. Whew. That felt good. Some more Crayola things. I got, this is so cute, two of these little um, eight packs of colored pencils. Isn't that cute? I got two of those put in my little thingy over here and then um, two of the five packs of the super tip washer washable markers and they're the classic colors pick this up for the gift closet and um, it bubbles fizzes and crackles and it's race team car dust it's a scented bath bomb crumples 
That's by Hot Wheels. I'm trying to find more stuff for boys. A couple more little containers. I found a like a pinky and a blue, and I love that they have the little lids on them. What am I gonna use them for? I don't know. I don't know. But they're going out to the shed. So I do know that. Pull this down. Here is a little black container or gray, smoky colored that has the lid as well. Um, this, I don't know, I may do this in the. Pantry, but I'm not positive. Probably go out to the shed. I, I need to do a lot of shed cleaning. My husband picked this up because he wanted to try it. I thought I had got this for him before, but maybe I didn't. It's the cream of wheat instant maple brown sugar, and he has plenty of those Cinnabon ones or whatever. I told him he needed to start eating on them. Then I picked up some Haribo sour spaghetti. I thought that'd be cute. Not only that, I think it'd be cute to see Lila chomp down on some of these. So, that'll go in the candy stash. Um, this is interesting. I'd seen people haul this before and I, I hadn't seen it, so I thought, well, it'd been there and gone. But, we found it on our little road trip. And these are the Alka-Seltzer um, Cool Action Heartburn Relief Gum. And it's Cool Mint. My husband had, deals with heartburn quite a bit. So he picked up four packs of those. So he'll be happy to see these, I'm sure. And down there. And maybe I need to move up closer to the microphone. That might help. And then I saw my friend Cassie. Um, haul these the other day on her video. Um, it's Cassie over at Bargain Budgeters. If you haven't checked her out, I'll put her channel down down below in the strip description box. And um, she hauled this beard trimming cape. My husband and I were actually in the same room together when I was watching that video, and <laughs> she had me giggling. But um, he actually said that he would use this. And I said something about maybe getting one for Justin, too, my oldest son, because he has a beard situation going on, too. And I was like, yeah, so he, he said he'd probably use it, so this is going in their Father's Day thing. So, then I, I got these, and these are color by numbers, and I, my granddaughter Gracie is smart as a whip, and I know that she could do these. So I picked up three... Um, three of them, two of the little Unicorn Dreams ones, and it comes with the little markers here, but you wouldn't have to use that. You could use your own or whatever. But look at this. Look. Look how sweet that is. It tells you at the bottom, like, what colors you're supposed to use as well. But I did get two of the Unicorn, and then there was one that had Silly Sloths and Friends. So I picked that one up too. Super, super cute. Put that over here. I picked up another book, not that I need any more because I haven't been reading lately. I've been very, very busy. But this is Witch and Wizard The Lost by James Patterson. And this is one of the authors I like to read, so I knew it would probably be good. I kind of read up on the back of it a little bit and it sounded interesting. Um, I don't know. They always put the stickers over this, I think, for, for on purpose. It was $12 U.S. I guess I can just pull that off. Nobody ever pays that price, by the way. So, and I hear it raining outside. I picked up some round tablecloths. Um, I picked up a white one in a longer package but then I found the red and the blue also for round and they are all the same size as 84 inches in diameter it's just this was the larger package so, the 
thumbs up. So we're already at 20 minutes, so I'm going to call that a video for today. I'm getting ready to upload the video from yesterday. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope y'all are having a good day. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I will catch you later.